Okay, so we're back. Um, so we just got the sentry gun working as the AMS tar targeting just missiles. Uh, now we, what we need to do is we need to restart the game real quick and just quickly up the targeting stuff. So close these real quick. So our selector works. So now we need to just edit data at this point. Man, we're, man, we're doing pretty good on this stuff. So we need to actually check this stuff too. I, I didn't check that. We'll do that next segment. Or I mean, not next segment, the next iteration we do. First iteration, we're going to fix our targeting box. So I need to go sentry data. And wow, my AC just kicked on. This system is weird. Okay, range by default is 50. I need to figure out what I actually our range value is called. Targeting range. We're going to set this to 100. I kind of need to actually change it to be a box instead of a single linear value. I'll do 120. I'll be gracious. And then we need our aim speed. So what is our aim speed? We'll have to probably mess with the targeting delays here, uh, but uh, I need aim speed is what I actually need. Is there not an aim speed here? Target search delay, range, 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 target loss timer, rotation speed. We need to double this. And then we need to toy with rate of fire and stuff. I need to actually get this rate of fire to be huge. Right now it's firing literally one round a tick, I believe. Oh no, wait, wait, that reload time means it takes a second to reload, I think. And then its rate of fire is one round a second. This actually could be increased. Yeah, because a rate of fire is rounds per minute. So let's actually close real quick. I want to I wanna up this. Rate of fire, rounds per second. So, that basically means it'll fire a round per, per, per tick. You'll go through ammo really quickly in the AMS, that's just as a tip. But you'll pretty much instantly kill missiles, so I don't see a downside. <laughs> uh, I'm probably going to increase the reload time, so it's really going to kill you with the AMS turrets is if they have to go in a reload cycle. Um, I can't tell if the reload time is its rate of fire or cooldown. I'm going to have to check that real quick. Oh, that's a weapon stat. <laughs> Means we actually have to go to its fire weapon code. Fire weapon. And we want to go... Last time fired is less than... Gun dot get firing delay. Firing delay is delay in milliseconds for the next round will be fired. Used to control the firing action of the weapon. Uh, number of rounds that can be fired in a minute ignores reload time and other factors. Reload time. How long it takes to reload the weapon? So yeah, it takes a second to reload. Uh, I want to up this to a five second reload, so that would be 20 ticks, it'd be 100 ticks. So that's in ticks. Um, I kind of want to do it in milliseconds, but when you start getting in milliseconds, we have to either start doing one, one of two things. We either have to start rounding, or we have to start doing multi-threading. Um, rounding is really what I want to go towards, because when it comes to rate of fire, if you're going to be firing more than one round a tick, then um, how I'm going to actually handle it is that it's going to fire multiple rounds in a single trigger pull, and it'll, it'll mathematically figure that out. So if you have an odd number where it rounds out to like 2.5, it'll fire two rounds, one tick, three rounds the next. And I'll have to figure out some kind of system to do that, because there is no handling for that right now. And I'll have to make handling for that. 
Right now we want to make sure the aimester works properly. Uh, we want to get the friend or foe system set up for it, so we want to make sure that we're shooting friendly missiles instead of, or we're not shooting friendly missiles. Um, so, ah, I need to make it. I need to make a production factory real quick. I feel bored. We're gonna make a production factory. We're gonna murder these uh, slimes though, because I hate the slime sl slime jump noise. The only thing I hate more than that is the NPC villager noise, and. What I mean hate is if it's ongoing, it's constant, it drives you nuts. Not as in hate as in, yeah. I, to be honest, I don't really hate it. Hate it. I just dislike the, uh, the continuous uh, constant pecking noise. I don't know if I'm getting that across well enough. Um, I think I need these things. Uh, yeah, that looks good. Yeah, it's got the whole GUI in it. Okay. Then we need robotic arms, and we need to rotate these guys. Oh, you've got an actual 3D rotation box. I keep forgetting about this. I need to update your system. Okay, we're going to just do this real quick. Place it back down that way. I don't have to pull a wrench out. I have to go back to the ICBM tab in a second, though. Okay. The model's wrong on this. Uh, yeah, it's messed up. I'll fix that later. I don't know what broke it. Okay, so these are waiting for parts. We should have a debug object for this. Oh, shoot. Do we have it? <laughs> this is what I'm looking for. Its texture doesn't work, but we're going to use it. Now I'm going to turn it into probably a node here later because it, it needs to be noted. Do do do. Do 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 do. Do, 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 do. Ignore my random humming. Okay, we're gonna build cake missiles. Gunpowder engine. By the way, it doesn't matter how you stick these in it, it actually works perfectly fine no matter what. I thought about implementing some kind of uh, placement check on here, but I was like, you know what, that'd just be stupid. Oh shoot, it consumes items in my hand. I need to fix that. Yeah, by the way, the reason why I use this redstone right now is I was too lazy to program upgrade items. By the way, for those who wanted a tutorial on how to set this up, that's it. <laughs> Bring items in, and it'll just build. And you got your automated missile factory. Yay, I'm going to take a screenshot. Yeah, that'll work. So we'll get our missiles here, and then uh... why is the controller not in here? Ah, it's probably because I never finished it. There's a controller which would have been redstone supported, but it's not. Um, where's my wireless system? It's over here. So we want to connect to that thing. So I'm get rid of this. Connect you to this. Uh, nine. The damage is, or the distance is too high. We're gonna have to make another note here. Okay, we're gonna name this, and this will be AMS test. 
ms test site save and I'll have to get into the uh, GUI for that in a second and rename it uh, I want yeah here we go AMS test site I want you ABC save and the reason why I'm doing this is I can go like this go into here not encoded for launcher data use <sighs> yeah I gotta fix a few things and no, you're the wrong tile. I want AMS tile, code. And what I can do with this? Oh yeah, I forgot the gunpowder <laughs> engines have ridiculous takeoff speed. What's sad about this, I'm gonna add ramjets here later. Ramjets are basically almost gonna teleport. That's how fast they're gonna be moving. Come on, come on, shoot it down, shoot it down, shoot it down. Luckily, when they come back down, they're gravity fed. Shoot it down, shoot it down. I have a feeling that um, the, the missiles don't actually take damage, or they're moving too fast and uh, the AMS Turk can't keep up with them. But this is the reason why we're testing. So it is shooting. I'm pretty sure it's hitting too. The thing is, I didn't actually check to make sure the uh, old AMS turrets didn't have a special way of handling damage. Uh, so what we need to do is we need to go to the Armory mod. Content. And on top of that, what I need to do is I need to actually really quickly... We'll do this real quick. This is actually how we're going to confirm it really quickly that we're hitting. Uh, that uh, that needs to be fixed. That's a Redner bug. I wonder who's in that zone though. Oh, there's a render problem right there with the pitch. We're not hitting. Um, so what's going on? <sighs> I can't imagine the it's moving that fast that when we fire the ray trace that it's already it's already moved out of the way. And we we are getting the ray trace fire, I guess. Cuz it's firing the weapon which is done up here actually. Yeah, you know, I'm going to make sure it's firing the ray traces, it's not firing some entity bullshit cuz if it's firing some entity bullshit then that explains completely why this is not hitting. Good thing is we'll have an infinite supply of, of uh, projectiles, so we're not going to run out anytime soon. Okay, so we are firing the ray trace. So we're going to go in here. <sighs> Moving object position. We didn't hit anything. So what are we going here? We're going to uh, right click with bow, which is false. Do collider check true. Return miss false. So we're just straight out not hitting. Hmm. Collider could be too small. And accuracy could be too high. I'm gonna hate doing this, but we gotta turn the debug on. Do or debug enable debug ray traces equals true. Remove that. So we know we know for sure that. Um, Those look good. It's 
aiming too late. I don't get this. Should be aiming right at it. It's aiming right at it. It should be hitting. I know how to fix it. Just gonna be stupid. Yeah, I see it's aiming um, really late. So it's aiming almost a tick behind. The way you fix this is I have to update the targeting point right before we fire. I need to fire one more missile real quick. I want to see what its hitbox looks like. I might slow the missile down real quick just to test this. But then that kind of de defeats what's going on. We're having a problem where the missile is just too fast. The hitbox is too small as well. Yeah, it's just it's lagging behind by a decent amount. Okay. Um, the problem is the missile moves several meters per tick. It's just literally that fast. So by the time we're aimed, we think we're aimed, it's having an... What? I just... There's a hotkey for that? That's dumb. It's a hotkey for opening up the help page. Is target valid? Targeting delay is aimed. So, I mean, right before we get a fired, I can update it, but it's already updating before it's fired. It's just, what is, something's wrong with this. So we'll update it right before we fire. I think I just got hit by a missile. <laughs> uh, still firing in the air, so I'm assuming it's working. Must have passed right through me. Still not working. So that's that's not the issue. I might want to just consider starting to skipping the ray trace and just attack the entity directly. If we know we can see them and we just do really quickly do a can hit check, then we could just do it that way. Is there two entities on top of there? Why do we have a double hitbox there? The only way to have a double hitbox is it to think there's two entities at a spot. Why there be two entities of different sizes at the spot though? Oh well. Um, it's firing behind it by a certain distance. Okay, so we need to go to plan B. I need to start testing with a rocket launcher. Targeting delays a bit high. Yeah, 
Eh, Silo is still the best option. Still, we get the best result out of this. So our target's not based on a rotation, so it's not the rotation throwing it out of whack. And we're getting the aim point. And we're getting the aim point directly when we go to fire this. So something is throwing off our size check. Okay. So axis line db bounds equals entity dot bounding box. Okay, so how we're going to do this is I'm going to try to do it this way. Min x. Actually, we need bounds dot max x. So bounds dot max x minus bounds dot min x, and we're just going to get the center point of the bounding box. What we're actually going to do is ndd get bound box doesn't equal null ndd dot get bound box. I think the missiles actually return their own bound box. This should give us the very center of it, no matter what. So we don't need to do this stupid height check system in case we get some weird collision boxes. I know there are mods that have weird collision boxes. So this could be what's causing the issue. As we're not getting the center, so therefore we're not ray tracing properly. This doesn't make sense because we're firing the very tick that we fire. We should be getting the exact location of the missile. There shouldn't be this weird delay. That's got to get to me this size. Oh man. Okay, so this gets me the size of the thing. So I still want to do x pot, or I still want to do any dot x pause x. If this starts to not work, I'm just going to... Still aiming a tick behind. I mean, I can get predicted position, but that isn't going to work either. Because then you're firing at the predicted position of the next tick, and that's... The ray trace is immediate. It's an instantaneous system. So I need... I'm going to have to pull another sentry gun real quick, because I need to see if the sentry gun itself, so the base code, is there something wrong with it. So we're going to pull out the laser turret. And... There we go. And I need to bring slimes back. I hate the things. There's something fundamentally wrong with the system. I don't get it. Okay. This needs to be divided by two.
something's wrong with the ray trace code. Cause that that ray is clearly going in the middle. Okay. Um. This was working like a few minutes ago. Maybe it's just this sentry type. Maybe the laser type broke. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The laser type it requires power. Derp. Um, it's a good debug though. I give it that. I gotta get him his own custom ammo. Okay, that works. Okay, so we know the sentry gun works, so that's not the problem. Okay, let's try a missile gun and see if uh, that last change I made maybe did something different. We may just have to decide if the entity moves too fast that we just attack it directly. Yeah. It doesn't make any sense though. Okay. Because when, when we get the entity's position, so when we get the entity's position in the world, that should be the same exact position as soon as we call our ray trace code. The position should not change between the call hierarchy, which is the reason why I'm getting really confused at what's going on. Could it be... It could be. It could be something wrong with this fire weapon code. So when we fire the weapon, we're passing in the aim point and our aim. So our, where, how our aim offset is designed. We call do fire. Do fire gets the entity's position, or actually gets our position. Adds the bullet offset, and it asks if we have an aim point override, which we do. So we're just going to use our aim point override, which should be the target's exact position. So we already fired at this, so maybe we could have a rounding problem. Would be the first time. Whoa, that's numbers, wicked small. Um, multiply by 500, which means our Y aim would be zero, basically. Uh, Target position looks good, I guess. It's exactly what we passed in up here, so it should be our aim override. So it looks good. Okay. So do ray trace. Do ray trace adds aim to our entity. That's actually just to offset our, aim, our ray trace from clipping ourselves. Um, that actually should be bullet start point, but for the player it's not. Uh, probably have to do a override with that one. So we want to go into our ray trace code. So we want to ray trace entities. Okay, so in our scan region, we want to see what entities we, we pulled up. Check it. Oh my god, so many entities. Does our missile even show up in this list? Sentries are in the wow, why are there so many sentries? Are they not clearing? They're probably not. Yeah, see all these enemy sentries? Something's wrong with my sentry system. Um, they're not setting themselves dead. I'm not seeing a missile though. Maybe item? 
Item, 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 century, 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 more centuries, more centuries, more slimes, no missile, still no missile, there's no missile in that entire list, uh, what? Check distance is distance to end. I have my own ray trace for enemies. <laughs> That's cool. I didn't know we had that. Could that be the problem? Could my scan region be screwed up? Possible. Unlikely, but possible. So it could be, it could be this. So we need to do some work real quick. So we need to go world dot. There's a ray trace blocks. So why is there not a ray trace entities? You know why there's probably not a ray trace entities? Because it's probably not called ray trace entities. So we're gonna go right quickly here. It's, it's probably this right here. This still looks like a block ray trace. Yeah, this looks like a this is a block ray trace. Um, I don't see an entity ray trace. I have a feeling that this this is um can collide with maybe returning false on missiles that's actually uh an important thing um let's go find the missile Uh, nope. Wait, actually. Turns truth, and it should be prevented from colliding with this. Oh, yeah. Should be prevented from... So, yeah, I need that method. That, uh, that actually... That actually could be exactly why this isn't working. Could be exactly why we can't, uh, we can't collide check. Um, we're going to have to save and quit, but that, that could be why this isn't working. So there may have been nothing wrong with our code and we, we and what, what is going on is why we're perceiving there's something wrong is that the, that ray trace, which we're rendering is rendering a couple ticks off because it's a packet driven system. Packets are not instantaneous to the client. Even if that client is directly on your same machine, they're not instantaneous. They're delayed. Packets are sent usually next tick, not same tick. Um, so we're going to delay on the ray trace render, which is then causing that problem, which is then giving us the perception we're not hitting things. And what was going on originally is we're flat out just not, we're not collidable. <laughs> so entity can collide with, which we returned false. Yeah. That should work. So that'll fix it. It's it, it, which will be nice because then the AMS will turts will work. Then we can do better AMS turts. Um, 
I got to get the ICBM Sentry's uh, flak turret working on missiles. And it'll be uh, the, the AA turret in the ICBM Sentry Classic. Uh, it'll be restricted to pretty much flying entities, uh, missiles, uh, large projectiles. We we'll have to add handling for size checks. Yeah, there'll have to be some kind of handling for size checks um, in here. So we'll have to make a variable in our target selector to, to sort by size. Because you don't want to be shooting at bats, for example. That would be stupid. But you want to shoot at gas. Gas are big things. I'll have to go test that in a second, too, if we can kill gas. I'll go to the nether for that one. Go test the sentry guns in the nether. A thing I need to actually add, too, is when you're in the nether, your guns are going to have an excess of heat amount, but heat hasn't been implemented yet. When we implement heat off, remember to do that. So there'll be an overheat chance. If you guys are familiar with uh, Machine Muse's power armor, it heats up when you're in the nether. The guns and sentry guns are going to do the same exact thing. Machines actually going to do the same thing, too. So when you put machines in the nether, they're going to have a increased heat. So if that machine was susceptible to heat to start with, it would probably shut down. Coolant systems are going to be a thing. Uh, you won't have to worry about most of your weapons, though. Um, conventional weapons will not really be affected too much. Any weapon that has full auto, though, is where you're going to start getting to the danger point. There'll be a few other things that'll be problematic. By the way, I think the infinite inventory tiles, by the way, uh, do not save. Let me check. No, it saves. Okay, I must have fixed that while back. Okay. Unknown silo name AB. Uh, don't tell me these are not saving. Or maybe I didn't. No, it's that's saved. Maybe the silo didn't save. Yeah, silo didn't save the same. Luckily, I don't think I need to do anything. Yeah, there it goes. It's name driven. Uh, this is be this will be uh, hash code ID driven later. So you can't actually fuck with things. I'll work on it later. This whole this whole target detonator system, I want to get a 3D model for it. <gasps> Did you work? No, you didn't work. Okay. You're just doing your thing. <gasps> it blew up. Come on, reload faster. It's working. So yeah, that was a collision check issue. How in the world that that was working previously? I don't know. Oh, that's so cool. It's missing too, if you didn't notice. A few of the shots are not actually hitting perfect. That is nice. Okay, we can turn debug off now. So if we go sentry, by the way, this will fix uh, other issues, so that's going to be nice. We'll leave that there. Okay, here's the debug value. So we can get rid of that. So any new sentry placed will just do its thing. Um, that's pretty much it. I mean, AMS tour was pretty much the only thing I wanted to test right now. Uh, I guess we can go really quickly through and check all the localizations that are good. Uh -huh. And yeah, that's it. That's that's it for this video. Pretty cool now. We got uh, AMS tour functional. I just need to implement uh, the same functionality on the classic sentry gun and do some tidy up and polish work. So I guess I'll see you guys later.